Beach Ken stands for nothing on shifting sands in his flip-flops staring out to sea, doing nothing constructive to stop small boats or grow the economy. And when we examine his weak record on union demands, on border control, on protecting the public and stopping small boats, we discover that, like Beach Ken, he has zero balls. Further business will be announced in the usual way. I don't blame the 54% of people who say they would never even consider voting Conservative at the next election. What would they even be voting for? Yeah. Leader of the House. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Well, first of all, can I just place on uh, record, I'm sure I speak for the whole House, that our thoughts are with the people of Morocco and Libya in the wake of the t- recent tragic events. And can I also wish the Jew- Jewish community celebrating uh, Rosh Hashanah, uh, Shana Tova, uh, very happy, healthy and sweet uh, New Year. Um, I'm a Conservative. I'm always happy to take uh, personal responsibility. Let me respond to the points the Honourable Lady raises. First, just with regard to the uh, standards report with, regarding the Prime Minister, she will know that that report did not uh, recommend any action uh, to be taken against the Prime Minister. So I'm happy to get that on record. I would remind her uh, that the work rate of uh, this government and this parliament has been to put through, uh, since the Prime Minister's tenure, uh, started 16 bills, uh, 13 of which have received royal assent, and of course a record number of private members' bills. And on every area of government we are are delivering. Uh, She mentions uh, energy. We have decarbonised faster than any other nation and led the charge uh, on that. Uh, We have been extremely busy, particularly focused on the Prime Minister's five priorities, chief amongst them, stopping the small boats. Um, The Honourable Lady is new to the post, but I will remind her that her party voted more than 70 times against our measures to strengthen borders. We have been working very hard. The Labour Party have been frustrating us. Labour have consistently stood against any measures to combat small boats, and those measures are delivering. Crossings are down by 20 per cent, and from Albania by 90 per cent. The leader of her party today is showing himself again to be Mr Open Borders. He wanted the Home Office to stop all deportation flights. He wanted free movement. He is mooting taking 100,000 illegal immigrants from the safety of the EU and bringing them here to the UK. And he is planning on reversing the ban that we have brought in for people to uh, be able to claim asylum if they have come here uh, illegally. Uh, We are working very hard. We are putting bills through in legislation, legislation that the party opposite would unpick. So time and time again, Labour are showing that they are not taking the tough decisions uh, to stand up uh, for the people of this country. and we've seen it in other areas of well, uh, as well. Her plan that she asks, invites me to look at on uh, energy would make this nation less energy secure. We've seen it today in Labour's so-called New Deal for Working People, which I call the Trade Union's Charter. Yeah. And uh, Labour say they will ban unpaid internships, yet their MPs are advertising them. They say they will fight for equality, yet in Birmingham, where they're in power, they didn't pay women a fair wage. Mm-hmm. They say they want homes for all, yet block plans to build yeah. them. Labour are the party of ULES, the fuel duty escalator, yeah. the 20 mile an hour default speed limit, yeah. soaring council tax, and every health board they oversee being in special measures. They are no longer the party of working people. We are. She wants to examine our work rate and record. We're the party of free childcare. We're the party of 11 million workplace pensions. We're the party of a million new businesses, of doubling the personal allowance, of fair fuel, and at times of crisis, furlough and loans to preserve the livelihoods and businesses of this country. We consistently take action to stand up for the interests of the people of this country. The Honourable Lady invites, and and she echoes the um, hilarious gag the Leader of the Opposition made yesterday to uh, attempt to insult the PM by comparing him to a popular children's uh, figurine. Uh, I'm uh, happy to to focus on that. Um, I don't think that uh, line will survive contact with the Prime Minister's work rate, but let me rise to the bait and return the serve, uh, because I think the Labour leader is Beach Ken. 
Beach Ken stands for nothing on shifting sands in his flip-flops staring out to sea, doing nothing constructive to stop small boats or grow the economy. And when we examine his weak record on union demands, on border control, on protecting the public and stopping small boats, we discover that, like Beach Ken, he has zero balls. Further business will be announced in the usual way.